Name your five closest friends. I'll wait. Think of the people you can talk to about anything, the ones you've known for a while, the ones you can always call. Now think of how many people on Facebook you can really say are anything like that group. We all still have a guy from high school on our Facebook that we don't think about until his birthday. Dunbar's number. The supposed maximum number of meaningful social relationships you can have is 150. The median Facebook user has a much higher number of friends than that. How many of them are really people you still know? How many of them are people who you would want to see for no other reason than that you enjoy their presence? How many of your friends are really your friends? How many can you know the difference? What is the difference? In his ethical masterpiece, the Nicomachean Ethics, or what is that, Nicomachean Ethics? Aristotle turns his brilliant mind to the problem of what friendship actually is. Aristotle views the good life as requiring not only virtue and internal good that you are largely responsible for, but also requiring external goods which facilitate virtue and are enjoyable in themselves. Such things include being Greek, male, well-off, financially educated, reasonably healthy, having decent luck, and having good friends. The question of what a friend is takes on new importance for him. In Book 8 of his work, he defines three sorts of friendships and one virtue of friendships, philia or brotherly love. As with all of Aristotle's virtues, philia is the midway point between two vices. A lack of brotherly love leads to the vice of egoism, while the person who is too friendly with everyone also vicious in their own way. Aristotle would agree that the friend to all is a friend to none. To be a self-actualized person in the Aristotelian sense, you need to master the art of friendship. But what are the three kinds of friendships? The friendship of utility is the first kind. These friendships are based on what the two people involved can do for one another and often have little to do with the other individual as a person at all. The person you buy a drink for so they can score you tickets, put in a good word for you, or even just make you look better by comparison. Such friendships as this one include offering hospitality, so he claims these friendships can end rapidly as soon as any possible use for the other person is gone. The second type is the friendship of pleasure. These are the friendships based on the environment of shared activity and the pursuit of fleeting pleasures and emotions. Is that like a friend with benefits? The person you drink with but would never have over for dinner. The guy who you go to a football game with but would never be able to tolerate seeing anywhere else. Aristotle declares it to be the friendship of the young. This is, again, an often short tenure friendship as many people change what they like to do and suddenly be without connection to the friend. While these are listed as lesser friendships due to the motive, Aristotle is open to the idea of the final and greatest form of friendship finding its genesis in these categories. However, the final category is true friendship. The friendship of virtue or the friendship of the good. These are the people you like for themselves, the people who push you to be a better person. The motivation is that you care for the person themselves and therefore the relationship is much more stable than the previous two categories. These friendships are hard to find because people who make the cut of virtuous are hard to find. Aristotle laments the rarity of such friendships, but notes they are possible between two virtuous people who can invest the time needed to create such a bond. While Aristotle encourages us to seek the pure form of friendship, he doesn't necessarily think you are a bad person for having friends of the previous two sorts. We all have them. While he admits that some pleasures are bad for you, he also calls a pleasure good, which people do want to enjoy. The real problem in these friendships is when you fail to understand that they are of a lower kind and make no effort to find better friendships. But friendships of pleasure are all I have right now. Am I a bad person? <laughs> no, but Aristotelians would encourage you to move up. Start thinking about your friendships. Or any of your friends who you think you would like to know better, do it. If it doesn't work out, try again. Aristotle is clear. Friendships of virtue are rare. It might take a while before anything can work. You need to be virtuous too. You needn't be a paragon of virtue right away. Even Cicero questioned how virtuous you needed to be to make true friends, but an understanding of philia would be useful. In a world of ever-increasing social connections, the question of what friendship really is is an important one. The guidance of Aristotle with his views of differing friendships and the possibility for improvement are one much-needed suggestion in our modern world. Thank you for tuning into The Plain Mundane Show. I'm Alex Aquarius.